kicks, kicks, kicks. Everybody's talking about kicks. <laughs> oh my god, you guys really want me to explain how to make a kick, right? It's such a, it's a very difficult process, making a kick. I, I, I'm actually tempted to, uh, to open up my latest kick project and explain a little bit about making kicks. Yes. Kicks. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Fuck it. Um, just be patient for a little moment. Uh, kick. I have this project somewhere over here. Mm, yes, this one. Okay. My latest kick, I spent about two weeks on it, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm opening up a kick project right now, the latest. I'm gonna let you know what I, uh, show you what I did. But don't don't be misled because it's not easy it's, it's very difficult it's very difficult to make a nice kick and uh, it takes a lot of tweaking and the most important thing about the whole process is uh, is your ears you know because it's not it's not just a trick you have to uh, to tweak it uh, while while listening you know so okay I'm gonna switch back right now and tell you about the kick. Uh, let's see. Okay. Kick making time. Okay. Uh, right here. My latest kick project. There it is. Uh, oh. Let me let me know if you guys can hear this clearly. I, I need to know that with twi uh, putting on the right volume because if not, it will be clipping and you won't be able to hear anything. Let me know if you can hear that clearly. I need to know. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's very delayed, so I'm waiting for the answer. I need to know if the volume is right. So I can continue and uh, show you what's going on here. Let me know if you can hear it. Right. If you can hear the, if it's not clipping. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Okay. Good. <sighs> Such a big lag. It really sucks. I hope there's a better streaming thing somewhere because it's so laggy. I have to wait a few minutes to get answers to whenever I ask questions you're looking at a kick right now this is the result of a kick and I need to know if it was clipping or not when I played it people asking about the mix down a lot too I can come to that later but the, the, the basic of your mix down in hard style is the kick. The kick needs to be good. The kick is actually taking up so many space in your uh, in your mix uh, that it, it just needs to be right. Because if it's not, then you will tweak your whole mix uh, on top of it. Um, you will tweak your, uh, your mix, uh, your lead and stuff on top of it. And if you ha don't have the right kick, then, you know, it's, it's, it's doomed. <laughs> your, your track's doomed to fail. Um, <clears throat> okay. 
only kicks won't make a good track. You're right about that. But if you, the kicks is like your uh, your 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 base, where uh, everything's uh, based on that. So if you don't have a good kick, you can forget about a good mix down. It's just it's going to be very difficult. <coughs> okay, so kick making time. Just look at what this is the latest pro this is the uh, the final process of everything so I'll get to that later I'm gonna mute that now uh, where I start normally I start I this time I started with Dramazon it's a, a 909 emulation and uh, it's 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 pretty handy and the, the thing with normal 909 is that it is very short and with a uh, Dramazon, you can tweak it to be longer. Uh, and that's very handy when it comes to hard cell kicks because normally you need a little bit of a longer tail. <coughs> so, um, let me see. Um, I'm gonna put this off to here. Okay. This is the 909. It's very, very uh, it's a, yeah, just a plain 909. And what I did is I start to distort that. Uh, I, I, I actually, I start with a, oh, that's very loud, with the clip distortion. This is the logic, this is the logic clip distortion. And it's the plugin uh, for making kicks. So if you don't uh, have logic yet, uh, you should get Logic and use this plugin because this is this is the best. It's very good. I, I don't even know how to make a right kick without this, to be honest. <laughs> so, and what you do is you, you, you distort really hard and you just go tweaking EQs. You go, you put EQs and you make all kinds of crazy um, curves and, and you distort really hard. And this is the first thing that happened when I when I distorted it as you can see and then I sent this because I you only have so many um, uh, slots available for one channel so what I do all the time is um, what I do all the time is send this to a new channel and start over as the same as when you export it and um, uh, you can just send it to a bus so that's what I'm gonna do sent it to bus one and bus one is a channel strip full of equalizers more distortions um, um, you know whatever uh, have a look you know that's that's the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna give this a little uh, really high peak um, uh, you know and uh, tweak the tone of the kick and put more clip distortion the best plugin for making uh, kicks, hard style kicks. Um, put more EQs, and if, then it will sound uh, like this. But it's still not there. It might sound uh, good or not good on your uh, uh, on your sound on your computer right now. But uh, trust me, it's 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 long from it's not there yet, you know. Okay, I send it to another channel, and again distort it. I mean, that's what you do all the time. You you put a lot of EQs, a lot of distortion. You make really high peaks. You distort and you, you take the peaks down again, uh, and 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 all that makes it really sounding more full and full, you know. You see, I take some stuff down here. Uh, let me see. This goes to a auxiliary channel. Um, this one, yeah. Uh, what I did next is the first time that I tried this technique. It's a new, uh, a pretty new thing uh, for me. I I made a multiband. Um, I muted the output of bus two, and I sent it to uh, auxiliary auxiliary one, and I made three cents. That means this one strip that comes from here is now sending to three channels and the funny thing what you can do with that is you can make your own multiband so th these are the three channels that I'm sending this to bus four five six and 
on all of them I put in a cube. You see, one for the low frequencies, one for the mid frequencies, as you can see, and one for the high frequencies. So now I have control over um, uh, over the low, the mid, and the high separately, and I can choose to do whatever I want um, without affecting the whole uh, sample, the whole sound. Um, so I, 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 you know, I, I uh, just tweaked the the low. It's, it's very extreme, as you can see. Um, and the high, uh, the, the 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 thing I tweaked the most because it was so, it was too much was the the high frequencies and I put a noise gate on it to uh, temper it a little bit to make it a little bit shorter a reverb uh, for some ambience you know it's, it's, yeah um, and then I sent this all to a new channel <laughs> I hope this is not abracadabra for a lot of you guys <laughs> um, I sent this to a new channel. I distort again. It's it's ridiculously how, how ridiculous how many times you uh, you distort, you know. But um, yeah, and and then you get this. you have it that's that's the, the uh, right now I have uh, the kick is it, it's sounding the way I want um, I have this crunch in it after a lot of tweaking and uh, that's the way I want it to sound but it's not there yet because um, uh, when you want this crunch you're gonna run into a lot of uh, trouble because uh, the the punch the attack is um, it, 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 it's not you know it's it's you have to do a lot of concessions when you got when you want to get it out of one strip. So uh, the next thing I did is is bounce this, uh, export the wave file, and load it into Logic, and manipulate it as the wave file. And wait, let me take you there. Okay. <clears throat> so this part is done. You know, I have the the, the sample, and I am going to cut it up. I'm going to divide that into pieces. A kick. Ex uh, it, 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 it's like three parts. You have the attack, the DK, and the tail, uh, or the sustain. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna um, give these all a different treatment, you know? So you have, for example, uh, the attack. It's, it's, it's nothing, it's a, it's a tick. But you need it, because without this, it will sound very uh, blurry and you won't have any any punch, you know, so it sounds like this So and with it it will be like this And the also uh, this is this is pretty much a, a this is a little trick if you uh, Have the attack right after the attack you should have a little dip a little dip in the sound to get the, the attack loose from the tail to make it loose, to divide it, you know, um, it will make it a little bit more like it's floating, and that's what you need. It uh, hard style kicks are very different from uh, uh, any other type of kick. It needs to be floating, like free, and 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 that's what I do by taking this part of the kick, which is and gain right after the attack, gain it, as you can see, right here. It's minus three dB. Um, that's to you know take to cut off the attack from the, the tail a little bit. Um, furthermore, uh, to give it a little bit more body in the beginning, I um, I took a, a 909. The first time I distorted it, I put it underneath, and I you know I filter this. It's just all the way. It's only the the pressure. You you probably won't be able to hear that from uh, out of your. Uh, on your computer, but it, it's just the, the the you know the punch of the overdriven 909, um, you know, to give it some uh, some body. And then what I did was the tail, you know, it's it's this. Uh, 
the tale. Um, actually, I uh, the, the the character, the, the crunch of the kick was for me. It was too long, so uh, I divided the tail into two pieces. I made a, a fade between them, as you can see. And on the second part of the tail, the the end, actually, I um, I took away some of the mid frequencies and a little bit of the mid high frequencies. Um, because uh, it, you know the the character of the kick won't, won't be so long because if if you don't do that it will, will sound like a hardcore kick you know <laughs> and um, well this is about finalizing I, I I took the kick again I gave it a low cut as you can see and I put it on top to create a you know a little bit of noise to make it a little bit more dirtier. Um, and, and it gives it some extra dimension. It gives it, uh, it makes it sound uh, a little bit fuller in the, uh, in the crunch. So put the attack with it. And there you have it. Well, the only thing I still did was bounce it again, take the mid frequencies, uh, play around with the the. the the position of it uh, when you when you skip it one millisecond or whatever you put it uh, um, to the front or to the back whatever it will really make a difference because it's cha it changes the phase of these two sounds uh, together and uh, will it, it will completely change it so you you should really uh, ch try that and, um, yeah just play around with it and the, the a very important thing I'm gonna switch back to the other cam um, Wait just a sec. Mm, there you go. Yeah. <clears throat> a very important uh, aspect is that you take an example. You have to take an example from a kick you really like and try to make it sound similar, you know, um, because uh, your ears are actually fooling you a lot of times. You think it's sounding right, but it's not, you know. So yeah, so so far for uh, <laughs> so much for making kicks. Is there a, an alternative for the logic clip distortion? I know that some producers make their kicks with isotope trash or camel fat or whatever. I tried it, but it simply didn't sound that nice for me. You know, it, 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 clip, clip distortion does the trick for me, and I'm not the only one that has that opinion. Uh, Wild Styles he makes the kicks with clip distortion, um, noise controllers, they make their kicks with uh, clip distortion, you know, uh, most people do, actually. Wait, I got a message from, uh, from Boss. Um, check that out. Oh, he's on his way. <laughs> yeah, bus is coming. So I hope I hope that uh, that helped you out a little bit on the on the kicks. It's it's still very difficult. Like I told you, on this one I just showed you, I I spent two weeks. So still very difficult. <laughs> 